you know, my first question is, what, what brings you in today? I'm about to meet Ingmar, who's a PhD student at the New School for Social Research. He's focusing his work on the use of psychedelic medicine to help people with PTSD, addiction, and trauma. I came here in, uh, as a master's degree student, and uh, that was a very rigorous two years. Your training to become a therapist doesn't really begin until the PhD program. What is it that you do at this program that's different than maybe the other students. So the phrase that I like to use is drug-assisted psychotherapy. So this idea that uh, short-acting pharmacological substances can be used to alter the way that psychotherapy works. How is this going to benefit society? Well, uh, one important word here is uh, treatment resistance. So that means that there are many people, uh, particularly with PTSD, who have tried many different kinds of psychotherapies and have not experienced significant symptom improvement. And this is a novel treatment that shows potential. There are some people who went through the MDMA studies who uh, no longer meet criteria for PTSD. So some people, you could say, have been cured. What we're gonna do now is uh, give you a little window into what it's like to study a MDMA therapy session uh, using a recorded video. Blood pressure looks great. What about his, his affect, his facial expressions? Is there anything of note there? We're trying to identify certain therapy variables, certain things that are happening that might explain what makes the therapy work. We're trying to see which techniques are most salient in the course of therapy, ultimately to determine which are most effective or perhaps least effective. So is this controversial? I think it's less controversial than it was five years ago or 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. This research is highly regulated. Uh, it needs to be, there's FDA oversight, DEA oversight. There has been a sea change in the last five years in terms of how people view the research. When I came here and I thought about bringing up doing psychedelic research or MDMA therapy research, I was really afraid that you know, I would be judged, stigmatized. Um, it would hurt my chances of getting into the PhD program here. And I think it was quite the contrary. So when I t told my professors about what I was interested in, they were very supportive um, and they really encouraged me to sort of follow my passion. Are there any th thoughts that, that are come in your mind when, you, when you're feeling that way? Or? The new school is not your typical college graduate school environment. New school students have a divergent way of thinking, so they're thinking out of the box. Mm -hmm. They're also often sort of pushing up against uh, authority and trying to make room for themselves and to discover themselves. And that is a large part of what the psychotherapy is about. I hope that maybe one day uh, my, my research, my work, could play an important role in shaping how MDMA therapy is taught or how people are trained and how to administer it.